Welcome back everyone to Catherine's Plates where it's always simple, easy, and delicious in my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you a really easy recipe making apple strudel. It's perfect for breakfast, brunch, anytime snack. It's fall, so it's a great time to pull these out. Are you ready? Let me go ahead and show you how to put this one together. The first ingredient we're going to be using is crescent rolls. Now you can use the crescent rolls or you can use the crescent roll sheet. Either way, this is going to take the guesswork and the work out of making the dough for this apple strudel. So you just want to remove the dough out of your can. I'm just using the original eight count Grand's crescent rolls. What you want to do is lay your crescent rolls out on a piece of parchment paper. If you don't have parchment paper, then you can lightly flour your work surface and lay it out on that. And that's totally fine. So I'm going to spread this out into one sheet. And then what we're going to do is pinch all of the edges together if you have just the original rolls. I have all of the perforated edges and the seams all sealed together. Now what you're going to need is a knife or you can use a pizza cutter which is what I'm going to use. Now I'm going to go about one third of the way up the whole sheet here and I'm going to make one inch strips So you want to make sure that these strips that you're cutting are one inch apart. So we're going to go to the other side of this and we're going to go one third of the way and cut our one inch strips. You want to leave enough gap here in the center for our filling. Now we're still making this very easy. I'm going to be using some pie filling that just comes in a can. It's 21 ounces. What's great about this is you can use any flavor pie filling you want. If you have blueberry, lemon, you can even do the pumpkin one if you have the pumpkin pie filling. Cherry is another good flavor. So what you're going to do is take your pie filling out of the can and you're going to put it in the center. Start at the end and then go all the way down. If you don't have canned pie filling and you have some apples, make your own apples. Put them into a pan with some brown sugar, cinnamon, and soften them up and then make your own. Or if you have your own homemade pie filling, you can use that for this also. I'm doing 21 ounces. Oop. If that happens, that's okay. Make sure it's nice and even so it cooks through. What we're going to do now is start on one end and we're going to take each strip and cross it over the pie filling like that. And then just keep doing that till you get to the other side. Just pull it. Now I like to pinch it right on top of the other dough just to kind of hold it while I'm going all the way down. Just like that. Make it nice and pretty. Now when you get down towards the end here, you can start angling that way. And then just crisscross it going the opposite way. You can push with your thumb up on the dough so you can get it over there. And then just tuck it under. Now what's great about having it on the parchment paper is we're just going to take the whole parchment paper. I'm going to pull it up by the edges here, just pick it up, and then I'm going to put my sheet pan up underneath. So I have a helper here, my husband, who's going to bring me the sheet pan. There we go. This is a large sheet pan, which is good because it'll hold this. And then just lay out your parchment paper. I'm going to take one egg. 
pack it into just a very small bowl. We're going to beat this up with a fork. I'm just going to take a pastry brush and brush it all over the top of the apple strudel dough. This will give it a nice golden color. Y'all, this will be perfect for the holidays. Something fast to put together if you need a dessert or a potluck. Get together, bring it for an appetizer for those football games. Make it for breakfast, for brunch. It's so easy to put together. I've got some white granulated sugar and I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit over the top. We're going to place this in the oven that's been preheating at 375 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. We're looking for this to be golden brown on the top and we want to make sure that the crescent dough is cooked through. I have one more step after we pull this out of the oven and cool it down and then we're going to finish this off. We've pulled this out of the oven. Look how scrumptious that looks. I've allowed it to cool. We pulled it off of the sheet pan and off the parchment and just laid it on our cutting board here. Oh, does that look delicious. Let's make a glaze for it. In a measuring cup, I have half a cup of some powdered sugar. I'm just kind of breaking it down a little bit. I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of some vanilla extract. And then I've got some milk here. I'm going to add about one tablespoon and get that going. I'm going to mix this all together using a whisk. Now, if you want your icing thinner, you add more milk. If you need it thicker, then you can just add some more powdered sugar. Oh, that looks good right there. All right, let's ice our apple strudel. They're going to want to know what bakery you got this from. <laughs> you can tell them you spent all day in the kitchen with this. I'm going to cut this in half, cut those in half. Y'all, this won't last long in my house. <laughs> nope. <laughs> You'd be lucky to get it off the cutting board. I know. There we go. I'm going to grab a slice. I'm going to give it a try for you. Mm. It's so warm, so delicious. I feel like it's fall. So many delicious flavors that you can use for this strudel. If you have blueberry pie filling, if you have cherry pie filling, try the pumpkin pie filling. So delicious. Okay, guys, what are you having this one for? Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you'll always know when more delicious, simple, easy meals, desserts, and appetizers come out on my channel. I will see you on my next episode. Mm -hmm.